Ladies and gentlemen, this is Adam Kokish here in Phoenix, Arizona with my friend Jen Gray. She is the Arizona Freedom Team candidate for Secretary of State, which is a very important role, particularly in this story. And for those of you who don't know, the reason that we're doing this special primary right and effort here in Arizona is because a Republican lawsuit led to the Libertarian candidates being kicked off the ballot. So Jen has some particularly relevant backstory. Before we get into all the cool things that people need to know about you, Jen, how did you come to this position and, and what was your role in this all coming about? So earlier this year, I was managing the campaign for the Libertarian candidate for governor. And one of the, pr the main challenges that we faced was the fact that his signature requirement was 2,200% higher than it was in 2014. That is an almost insurmountable obstacle for a third party campaign. I think it's, it's disenfranchising to, uh, to Arizona voters. And in the process of going through that signature collection process and then the lawsuit that got him kicked off the ballot, I realized that this system is, is, is unfair and it's broken and needs to be fixed. So just to be clear, this is from a new law here in Arizona and this was engineered explicitly to keep libertarians and other non-old party candidates off the ballot 20, 200 percent. That means they increased the signature requirement 22 times from, from what to what for a governor to qualify as a candidate to be on the ballot in Arizona? It went from 133 in 2014 to 3152, 3,152 in 2018. So there has not been a libertarian candidate on the ballot at all since 2014. And so what did <laughs> you've been you've been involved in political campaigns for a long time. And this is like the old parties do everywhere all over the country uh, to, to mess with libertarians, especially. But anything that represents a challenge to their power. How do you think Arizona compares to the rest of the country in terms of this particular political corruption? Now, I am an adopted Arizona and I'm originally from Maryland. So all my my political experience in Maryland, I was literally a teenager. <laughs> but I've moved to I moved to Arizona twice. I think Arizona is one of the the freest states. I came here from California, which I'm sure is worse. And I I, I chalked California up as a lost cause and never even attempted to get involved in their <laughs> elections. <laughs> so I, I'm from California originally myself, and yeah, I was happy to make the move to Arizona. I think we have the opportunity to advance freedom more so in Arizona than anywhere else I have lived. And. As Secretary of State, uh, well, before before we before since since we're talking about your background here, what do you think the voters of Arizona? And just just so people do need, just so people know who are watching, who aren't familiar with the background, what we're asking people to do is write us in on the primary ballots if you're a registered Libertarian in the state of Arizona. If you're not, you can still help us reach the required number of registered Libertarians in the state of Arizona. So please go to ArizonaFreedomTeam.com, give us your contact information, you can sign up there to help and phone bank and, and everything else that we're asking people to do in this effort to help get Libertarians on the ballot here in Arizona. So Jen, you're not native to Arizona. Uh, how did you end up here? And, and what do you think the people of Arizona, or at least the libertarians who should be helping us get on the ballot, what, what do they need to know about you? Well, I, uh, I went to college at Hillsdale, which is the only school in the country that doesn't take any federal or state money. It's also located in one of the most miserable places to live in the United States. <laughs> so after, after four years of that in, in Michigan, I wanted whatever was the opposite of that. Uh, my parents worked for the NSA. I wanted whatever was the opposite of that. Uh, and so... <laughs> wait, wait, what's the opposite of the NSA? Uh, respecting people's privacy? Like, uh, yeah, I, I want that. Okay, I, I do that. I'm the opposite of the NSA. All right, all right. The, the, the opposite of the NSA and the opposite of Michigan was uh, working on policy at the Goldwater Institute here in Arizona. So that was how I first came out here. and yeah, in, in much more practical, <laughs> realistic terms, yeah, you're absolutely right. That is a better answer for the, being the opposite. Sorry. <laughs> Fair enough. What was the second half of that question? <laughs> I'm just, I had to interrupt to, to marvel at how much better your answer was than mine. No, so, uh, no, but what, what, what do you think people of Arizona need to know about you? I think the people of Arizona need to know that the, when it comes to our elections, the referee should not be wearing a jersey of one of the teams. 
That's it. It's disenfranchising. There are, we have major issues with how we validate signatures that get good candidates kicked off the ballot, that disenfranchise voters. Independent voters are not able to vote in nonpartisan primary elections. I think that's unacceptable. And these are, these are battles that are small enough that we can win and important enough that we have to. And that's why I want to be your next Secretary of State. Awesome. Now, just to put this into terms, because like it, it is kind of strange here in Arizona, and there there are a number of states where the Secretary of State does have uh, a lot of power and is an independent elected official, and they're not appointed. They have no other sort of major political strings attached, except when they're a Republican or a Democrat, of course. But uh, in Arizona, how is it that the, the, the unique power of the Secretary of State translates into... Uh, let me see. Look, can we put this in terms that you know non-political nerds like us could understand? You know, how does this translate? I, I, why, why should the average voter care? Well, if the average voter cares about actually being able to vote and being able to sign petitions and being able to choose who you want to appear on the ballot, if you are the kind of voter who does sign petitions, there is a, an excellent chance that your signature was discarded for someone that you wanted to be on the ballot. So if you are a voter who is looking at your ballot, feeling disappointed by the lack of choices, or say disappointed that if you are a registered libertarian that your ballot showed up blank in the mail, then yeah, this is a race that you should care about and it's something that you can do something about. Awesome, Jen, do you have any websites you wanna plug? Anything else you wanna say? No, you can find me on Facebook with the Leading Liberty Podcast with Jen Gray. And that's J-E-N-N-G-R-A-Y. And is that how you're going to be written in on the ballot? Yes, Jen with two N's, Gray with an A. All right. And if you want more information about that, please check out ArizonaFreedomTeam.com and sign up to help out this special write-in qualification primary. Get some libertarians on the ballot effort. Peace.